Today's game is coming to you live from a galaxy far, far away. We're at City Alpha Stadium built on a floating meteorite, which also serves as an off-Earth penal colony when the games aren't being played. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The insane Colts go up against the Galaxy Chaos. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cat litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish. I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. If he had getting killed by a chainsaw before he completed his work, he I was a chubby kid, Grim. My parents sent me to bed camp. My big brother told me as soon as you get there, stab the first kid you see and no one will mess with you. So I get off the bus at the camp, some kid runs up. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort and he just got so mad and cursed who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second down and five. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. That run is good for nine yards. Bring up second and one. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, nah, still working on my salami here, Bruce. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, uh, uh, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. First and ten. Second down and long. This is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Now, the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. <laughs> and 
And that pass play is good for eight yards. Third down and five. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to fluff it, then. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. He's gonna be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. you got to love a player who goes down fighting. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. First and ten. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that's a catch for three yards. Come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. We've got a nail biter at the end of one. Second down and seven. First down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. First down and three. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. And this guy is supercharged with electricity. Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Dirty trick. The last play is a race. 
How did they do that? Did they go 88 miles per hour? Just ask. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, and he just slipped away like a grease. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. First and ten. It worked, that guy's so fast he could strike lightning twice. Second down in a very lot. Defense goes work speed. Oh, what the brutal hit! down and nine. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. He's supercharged and can electrocute any opposing player he touches. Devastating hit, knocks the ball loose. Uh-oh, and the ball carrier just got skewered. <laughs> and that's the end of his day. Disappointed. What do you mean, everyone? Second down and ten. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out in the field, they will have no running plays. And it's first and ten. Well, as a quarterback, you have to take risks and just chuck the ball sometimes. Oh, with the brutal hit! And it's first and ten. It looks like the defense handed out shrinking pills. Uh, that's a ginormous. And he's running on broke free and has open field in front of him. The 30. Here comes the defense. The 10. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. First down and five. Quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. Second down and more than the QB would like. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Now there are 
Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good. <laughs> As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Screwed up play if I ever saw one. Hey, boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he tried. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. <laughs> they need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. Second and eight to go. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, jet. And the MFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where?
first and ten. Oh, man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I got to see that again. I had a kid once like that walking down the sidewalk, texting with his earbuds in. Freaked him out. He said, hey, what'd you do that for? I said, I did you a lesson. What lesson, he said, that unless you're a baboon with big baboon balls, you got to pay attention. Yeah, along the jungle. He refused the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First and two. Second and three. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! The Galaxy Chaos win by forfeit after systematically decimating the opposition. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. My own wounds taste just like chicken. How was it Scrabble's tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Damn, I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so 